Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Skull and Bones. We're on episode five today, huh? Yeah? Cool beans and like that. So how are we doing, peeps? I uh, I hope this finds you well. I, I hope it finds you with love and balance in your life. I, I truly do. So today, it's not an overly long one, but uh, we're going to try and take care of that, uh, that contract, that brokered ground. We got to go take care of that for, uh, <coughs> for the big guy there, old Skrellig. Skrellig, Skrellig, you know, Sherlock, Sherlock, I don't know, Shrek, whatever you want to call him. Anyway, the boss man, Skrlock, that's his name, yeah. So we got to go take care of that today and uh, move the game along a wee little bit. Make some advances. I got to figure out about that uh, that cutter. We got the blueprint for the cutter. I've got most of the materials I need to build her, but I'm short on silver. So we'll have to go do a little. Oh, pardon me. We'll have to go do a little. Uh, oh, scrounging around, you know, and uh, checking out the shipwrecks and just gathering raw materials and the like and. Uh, yeah, getting into trouble with other ships and taking what they got should be a should be an okay day. Uh, as you can tell, my uh, <coughs> my lungs are not the best today and whatnot. So rather than put you guys through a bunch of wheezing and hacking and coughing, I'm not going to do a bunch of talking here. I'm just going to let you guys kind of enjoy the video for what it is. So that being said, my friends. I will uh, see y'all in a wee little bit, yeah? Okay. want to see if I can take out this shark with a bombarder. Oh, and we did. Now, can I salvage anything off it is the question. Get a little closer here. Oh, now, we ruined the, uh, the skin, but we got meat, so fair dinkum on that one, I suppose. But at least I, uh, I know I can take the little boogers out anyway. <laughs> okay, anyway, we'll uh, go take care of business here, yeah? What? Thank you, Captain. Okay, so picked up a new contract from him. I just want to transfer some goods. I want to keep my hold as empty as I possibly can here, so. Have a look. Okay, we got 20. There we go. We're down to 10. That uh, works. Yeah, keep the basics with you. You know, the necessities. and then Whatever you can get rid of, get rid of. Because, you know, just taking up space, right? What do we got? Okay, we'll go do the bonfire. That'll give us a bit of a stamina boost here. There we go. I know I said I wasn't going to do much talking and let you guys enjoy it. Here I am nattering away in your ear. Whoop, wait a minute, what did I see? Yeah, you see? Nice. That's the one thing about these uh, little islands and, you know, ports or whatever. There's usually a, a fair bit of stuff to walk, you know, just go around and look in the nooks and crannies. You get cannonballs, bombard balls, you get coconuts, all kinds of good happy stuff. Alrighty now, let's just see. Okay, we're gonna set sail. Yep, that is a lemur. His lame, his lame. <laughs> Lucian the lame lemur. Yeah, there we go. His name's Lucian. He's my new, my new mascot for the crew and whatnot. They've uh, they've taken a shine to him. I'm sure they've given him some shine too. Alrighty, so this is where we gotta go, eh? All right. Well, ain't no time like the present, huh? 
We'll get over there and uh, that'll be number two of the three-part quest we got to complete for Skurlock, eh? Okay, I'll see you in a bit here. I'm <laughs> running out of air here. Contact! Okay, coming into port here. We'll go talk to the, the vendor. Get the next part of the quest for Scully taken care of here, eh? Yeah, let's see. Oh, nice. This is a little different. Verona Falls. Let's see. 
Uh, right there. There we go. Okay, let's hear what you got to say, yeah? Hello, pirate. This will help. Okay, so we got a couple of contracts here we can... <laughs> Sorry. A couple of contracts here we can pick up. To traverse the seas at such a time is a danger for us. We require aid to retrieve our star charts. I believe our lost relics will inspire and guide our people's future. All right, bear with. I'm just gonna. Ooh, long guns too. Repair kits too. Oh, oh, oh yeah, Billy. Okay, what do we got? Silver. Yeah, we're good there. Oh yeah, repair kit two, definitely. And uh, <clears throat> oh, long gun two, nice, 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 and nice. I'll take that deal all day long, man. Okay, <clears throat> pardon me. Okay, same again. We'll just uh, put in here what we can. There we go. Alrighty, let's uh, head her back out, shall we? Get out there and do what it is that we do best. So long as the sea people remain at war, Skurlock rakes in the profits. All right, now, quick look at the map. So if we uh, go northwest with us right there, that's our next destination, eh? the foundry. Okay, I'm going to leave you guys to it here. I'll see you in a short time.
You saw the Lenatra ruins. Make good coin off that place. What she brought back, it speaks of a, of a trade deal between the French and Farah. Compagnie agents wooing the Farah clan with guns. But why? Why would the Farah stoop so low as to become French puppets? There has to be someone else on offer. This alliance threatens everything. We must put an end to it. Cully, you got the instincts of a crafty bastard. I was thinking the same. But if they're already in bed with the Compagnie, then we'd have to incite a lover's spat. My two enemies are busy flirting, and the Sea People merchants hear of it before I do. Have my agents turned blind and deaf? The Compagnie moves swiftly in the shadows, and we still have the sun in our eyes. You've done good work, Cully. When I'm done beating the information out of my agents, I'll have more for you. The Compagnie Royale has a presence in the Red Isles, and their merchants carry stolen spices, perfumes, and luxuries from the Indian Ocean. I want you to rob those arrogant fucks. They spit on us, call us dogs, lice. Take everything, and ruin them worse than the Great Plague did. Their lives are yours to take. But those goods belong to me. Chulin's demands are a burden we cannot carry on trade alone. Now the Compagnie are a ripe target. Slow to react and hated by all. So we do what pirates do best. Get in their faces and rip the silver spoon right out their mouths. Get to work, Cully. You looking for the spoils of the Shadow? Don't bother. It's scattered farther from here than the coward who stole it. People called Uriko Freeman a, a hero, a freedom fighter. Well, he was a charlatan, and he sold us all a lie. That prick never intended to share the treasure. Pirate code my ass. My job for the heist was to smuggle weapons and supplies to Lenitra. When I served my purpose, Freeman cast me aside. All that treasure, and not even a scrap for old John Skurlock. One day, this den at St. Anne will be far greater than Lenitra. And it's gonna be my name on everyone's lips. Off you go. Alrighty, yeah, I just want to nip by and uh, <coughs> go see my favorite lady over at the warehouse here. And uh, just sort some stuff out, so bear with me for a second or two there, peeps. Let me unburden you, Captain. Like the vaunted eagle shot with an arrow made of its own feathers. 
Skerlock's pride will be his own undoing. My warehouse is yours, Captain. Okay, so now while I'm here, I should check on a couple of things, i.e. the shipwright, the carpenter, and the blacksmith. Now, let's bear with me. I'm just going to, oh, pardon me, do a little the business here, and I shall Let return. Safe travels, Captain. Alrighty now, off to see my good buddy the blacksmith and see what we can accomplish over here as far as stuff to craft and build. Moving up in the world, are you? How about new cannons for your ship? Well, oh, sounds like a plan to me. Yeah. Culver and two, that's something we uh we want for sure. <clears throat> Just keep having a wee little look around here. Demi 2, that would be nice, but uh, we don't have the blueprint for that. Uh, Cavalier 2. Yeah, that sounds like a plan to me, man. That'd be great. Can we do it? Yes, we can. So we probably should. Devils and blacksmiths like fire. There we go. All righty then. Okay, so now I just got to go back out to a bunch more plundering because I'm down to 407 silver. And that won't bite me a handkerchief for my nose in this port. Okay, so, uh, moving on. I'll see you guys in a bit, yeah? Bring more coin, and I'll smith you more steel. Okay, well, leave us, uh, head back to the ship, and we'll, uh, change the loadout, get the new cannon put on, and like that. So that would be cool. <coughs> Pardon me. Wowzers. Okay, fair dickum. Tuling's clients possess an appetite for the exotic. Their demands keep Skurlock and us busy. Alright, bear with. I'm just gonna nip through here and <clears throat> change out my cannon loads and like that, and I will catch up with you in a short. Well, there we go. Pretty cool. Not a bad day. Not a bad day. Made some advancements. Got some new cannon for the ship and like that. We got some infamy, which was good. We've taken care of Skurlog there, so we're kind of <clears throat> getting up in uh, his uh, esteem and his eye. But anyway, my friends, I'm going to call it here. So, as always... Brightest blessings, eh? Love and light, my friends. Now, do me a favor. You know what to do. You go tell somebody you love them, yeah? Make their day better. It's free.